So, the next person we're going to be bringing up is Chijo. But I am not, is Yaoi. Yes! Joe. That's genius. Joe. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, hey, Gijo, what's up? Uh, I've got some words of affirmation for you. It's just a few from the ones on your sheet. I've got a lot of respect for you, Gijo. You seem to ex exude, sorry, I said exclude. Those are hard words. Tact and humility, and I hardly ever see you without a smile on your face. Your humble service to others is seriously something worth aspiring towards. I hope you don't change that. Love you, bitch. You are a solid guy, Gijo. Thank you for your friendship, advice, and insight when we have our conversations, and thank you for your prayers when I was having a tough time with things. You have a strong heart for people, and you are going to use that gift with others when you enter in the work world. May God continue to bless you, man. Brandon Omariji. So, uh, there's some Gijo picks. Here's Gijo. <laughs> Ooh, this mic works. super close to your face. So, uh, I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to uh, come here, even though for me it was like pretty quick, I'd say less than two years, because I'm a master's program. I'm really uh, blessed to see you know, this, this huge number of students who are here, and uh, <coughs> just to tell you one thing, that you know, there is uh, this unique kind of thing that God brings into this community to each one of you, which you probably wouldn't understand, because when you come here maybe for a large group or a small group, you may not think that much, but there's something special that each one of you brings in. And uh, being an international student coming from India, I do have a, some background in uh, student ministry because I've been part of a group like this in my campus, but it's such a blessing to see you know, the way in which uh, all of you, I mean, compared to the younger people, are so passionately following Jesus Christ and doing so much for Him. I think I may just take it out of the <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, my experience here started in 2014, uh, sorry, not 2014. Um, I knew about InterVarsity because uh, from India, I knew the, the same chapter here was InterVarsity, so I actually came searching for InterVarsity, and that's where I bumped into Connor during one of the important giveaway things. And uh, since then, I've been part of this group, and I remember my first large group when I came, and I realized that I was probably the only Indian student over here so when the uh, small group altar call came, I was like wondering, okay, which small group to go to? And uh, for those of you who have been to MAC, you would understand the, the feeling or you know, what you go through at that time because you kind of like feel left out. But then <coughs> I saw uh, the thing, international small group, and I was like, okay, that's the only thing I, place I feel a bit good. I joined the international small group. Uh, Rachel was my first uh, small group leader. And it's been a wonderful journey there. Um, God started speaking to me that he wanted me to uh, be part of this community and help lead a small group. And uh, going on from there, being a, a co-leader and then a small group leader with Chelsea. And this was my last uh, semester leading. It was a really good experience, you know, where I would say I got to learn a lot more about God, a lot more about myself and about a lot of people who are here. And even though initially I felt like, okay, I mean, uh, being like, you know, one of the international students, the community was really welcome and I got to know a lot of you guys. But the only thing is I never hung out so much because as a master student I had class only in the evenings. But uh, through MAC and uh, through Compelling 2014-2015, CFW, uh, I'd say if anyone hasn't been to CFW, you definitely should go. And uh, in Atlanta, I had like, I would say really uh, blessed friends that I could be with. And, uh, it's like how Lanco was sharing now. Really good conversations that we had about, you know, about what God <coughs> wants, to, uh, wants to do through uh, our lives. And uh, I was really encouraged to see the passion that, you know, all of you have for God. Um, just keep that going on, and uh, just want to say one thing that specifically God spoke to me to CFW was, especially for a generation like this, um, one thing that, including me, that I find this generation lacks is wisdom, 
and especially in a generation where you know there are a lot of things that come towards getting our attention, our time, might be friends, relationships, career, money, whatever it be. You know, it's it's hard to find out uh, the important things in life. So when I went to CSW, there's there's this one prayer that I had, and that's the same prayer I have for all of you guys. May God bless all of you with wisdom to understand what life really matters, and uh, work towards fulfilling that. So that's my prayer for each of you. And uh, there's so many people I would like to acknowledge, but uh, mainly my uh, mom, Peter Rachel, who was also staff, and also Christy, and uh, Chelsea, who's been my co-leader there, and many others, but I don't want to pick out all the names, I might forget some. But I uh, just want to thank each of you for the wonderful moments you've given me while I was here on campus. And uh, just want to close with this thing that, you know, uh, being an international student, I would like to see more international students in this chapter. And uh, just my vision for this community is that the days to come, the years to come, that there will be more international students here. Uh, just this one thing that I was encouraged from Rana this year was that uh, most of you who have gone for mission trip, let's say to China or other countries, you go for trainings like MAC and uh, you learn their culture, you learn the language, you travel all that far. But uh, in today's time, God is bringing like, you know, thousands of international students to this country. And they learn our language, they learn our culture, and uh, they're open to listening. And they, they're not just international students, but they are like the brightest, the most open-minded, and those who are willing to take up challenges. So I just want to close saying that uh, this is a great opportunity, and I feel that's something God is calling me to, is keeping prayers. Uh, I hope to invest more to the student community, and I wish uh, all of you the very best ahead.